dear listeners today i have selected for you very beautiful quotes so these quotes have been selected from different philosophers the roman greek philosopher like uh, epictetus seneca zeno of citium and marcus aurelius i've selected one more philosopher lao tzu so these philosophers they say that if you want to enjoy your life you must think about your inner self you must think things you can control like you can control about about your uh, feeling thoughts like that so whatever is in your control you should worry about that but you should not worry about the things they are out of your control for example what people thinking about you what people feeling about you what people behaving what people reacting because it's not in our control you can on only control your body so it is in your control once you are able to control yourself you'll be able to control on other as well so now epictetus said it does not matter what happens to you the thing is the matter is how you react the things happening to you so let's see one by one when you are offended at any man's fault turn to yourself and study your own failings then you will forget your angers me to say whenever you worried about the other faults you must turn to yourself and think what kind of fault you have in your personality so this way you will forget other faults so this is one epictetus say so here is a zeno of citium my favorite philosopher zeno of citium we have two ears and one mouth so we should listen more than we say as shakespeare said learn more more than do know us go more than do know us leave thy drink and thy war and always keep in the door speak less than do know us go more than do know us leave thy drink thy words always keep in doors he says that uh, whatever you know you must speak less than this let's see next quote all philosophy lies all philosophy lies in two words sustain and abstain epictetus very best quote tentative efforts lead to tentative outcomes therefore give yourself fully to your endeavors epictetus seneca roman philosopher once from seneca said when you crush flower it gives you more fragrance so let's see seneca every day should be regulated as if it were the one that brings up the rear the one that rounds out rounds out and complete our lives seneca the essence of philosophy is that man should so live that this happiness shall depend as little as possible on external things so same things so that happiness must not depend on external so you should spend your life in such a way that it must not depend on external things external things are not in your control but eternal things your happiness your feelings your thoughts your body that is in your control but outside the body outside your world outside your control these things are not in your control so as you expecting less like uh, burton russell say extreme extreme misery brings extreme uh, difficulties so extreme hopes bring extreme misery so the same way we should not expect 
from others that they are going to bring happiness for us as shakespeare said shakespeare said you know that why i'm not worried because i do not expect from others so expectations are going to create miseries and happiness so moreover we must make our miseries our power let's see next quote men are disturbed not by things by but by the principle and notions which they form concerning things it mean that we are not disturbed uh, we are men are not disturbed by things rather whatever attitude whatever notion they form that ultimately affect them that ultimately cause them uh, tortures agonies and like that wealth consists not in having great possessions but in having few wants so that uh, as you decrease your wants that will be bringing or giving you happiness the happiness lies that you must reduce your want instead of uh, just increasing your wants you must reduce it so you must uh, decrease your liabilities to have more asset asset in the form of happiness Epictetus neither should a ship rely on one small anchor nor should life rest on a single hope it is not what happens to you but how you react it to that matters very nice quote so epictetus said it is not what happens to you so it means whatever happens to you it does not matter the thing is that how you are going to react it if you are re- reacting badly it will be bringing more agony torture miseries and you know dissatisfactions and kind of trouble for you but once you are reacting it just showing it uh, because it is a natural and everything happiness and sadness that they go side by side so once you take it as a natural and you just move like uh, like nature everything will be okay so but how you react it it matters so according to epictetus first say to yourself what you would be and then do what you have to do There is only one way to happiness and that is to cease worrying about the things which are beyond the power of our will uh, as I have already told you mostly roman philosopher like marcus aurelius they are stoic philosopher talk about the marcus aurelius talk about the zeno of citium talk about uh, epictetus so these philosophers say that if you want to live happy you must control yourself rather than controlling other because the thing outside of yourself that is not in your control so whatever in your control and reduce your expectations on the outside words your happiness will be increased once you are expecting on other you will remain uh, dissatisfied you will worried you will be in agonies tortures because tortures uh, come when you thinking that uh, other are going to do something you are just depending on somebody you are trying to manipulate other you are going to control other because they are not in your control control is in con- what is in in your control is your body so control it emotion passion feeling thinking uh, so your happiness these are in your control you can shape it form it so all are in your control so here he is saying that uh, the beyond the power the thing which is beyond your power just reduce it happiness and uh, freedom begins with a clear understanding of one principle some things are within your control and some are not in your control so something are in your control something are not in your control it is not what happened to you but how you react to it that matters so epictetus remember remember this is very beautiful quote i used to i used to read it and i like it it is really it has changed my life it is not what happened to you but how you reacted that matters 
If anyone tells you that a certain person speak ill of you, do not make excuse, but what it is said to you, but answer, he was ignorant of my faults, else he was ignorant of my other faults, else he would not have mentioned these alone. So here very uh, good quotes. He says that if somebody is talking about you, somebody says that someone is talking about you, happy and say that he does not know about my other faults. So because I am having a lot of faults, he is telling less. So it's really a way of thinking, positive way of thinking. Water is the soft, softest things, yet it can penetrate mountains and earth. This shows clearly the principle of uh, principle of softness overcoming hardness. Lao Tzu. Mastering other is strength. Mastering yourself is a true power. Lao Tzu. If you are depressed, you are living the past. If you are anxious, if you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are peace at peace, you are living in the present. So, if you are depressed, you are in past. If you are living, uh, you are anxious, you are in futures. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. So, try to live in present. Whatever happens, you enjoy. Present is your life. Present, past and futures are not your. It, these are not in your control. The best fighter is never angry. So you should not every angry whatever happens. Be stoic. Stoic are people, they are resolute, constant, steadfast. They never turn a turtle. They, uh, you know, they face each and every kind of situation. They are very hard people, like stone. Therefore, they are called stoic. A journey of thousand miles begin with a single step. Lao Tzu. Loss is nothing else. Loss is nothing else but change, and change is a nature's delight. Marcus Aurelius, my best philosopher. Look well into thyself, and there is a source of strength which will always bring up if thou wilt always look. If anyone can show me and prove to me that I am wrong in thoughts or, or deed, I will gladly change. I seek the truth which never yet hurt anybody. It is any persistence in self-delusions and ignorance which does harm. Marcus Aurelius If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing it, thy, itself, but your estimate of it and uh, this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Marcus Aurelius Meditations in his book Meditation, he has written several books. I have studied all meditations. So these are in series. You study, you will enjoy. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. So he should try to live happy. I am calm while the storm is raging around me. Stoic. The wise man will live as long as he ought, not as long as he can. Be tolerant with others but strict with yourself. Very nice quote. He said that we must be tolerant with others but very strict to your attitude, whatever you are forming yourself. So, so you should be very strict about yourself because four or five bad habits will give you bad futures. If you form four or five good habits, they will give you good future. A river cut through a rock, not because it is power, its power, but its persistence. Persistence, consistence, consistency and pers persistence, it, it forms life. Once you are persistent, you can even go through everything you can get through everything you can win through everything so only persistence that's what matters it's uh, better to live for one day as a lion than for thousand years as a sheep a strong positive self-image is the best possible preparations for the success in life Stop trying to change someone who does not want to change. Stop giving chance. 
chances to someone who abuses your forgiveness. Stop walking back to the place where your heart ran from. Stop trusting their words and ignoring their actions. Stop breaking your own heart. Apologizing does not always mean you are wrong. It just means that you value your relationship more than your ego. So you know, you know what people do like nowadays. Once you just tolerate something, you are just uh, you know forgiving somebody. You are just stepping back from fightings. You don't want to fight. You just withdraw. What happened? People start criticizing. Oh, he is, he is afraid. He is afraid. He is covered. He is not brave person. He is brave. The thing is that he values the relationship. He does not want to break other heart. So apologize does not always mean that you are wrong. It just mean that you value your relationship. more than your ego hope you have learned a lot from today's uh, quotes so in today's quote we have covered lao tzu epictetus seneca zeno of citium and marcus aurelius these are uh, you know these are stoic philosophers and in coming lecture in coming uh, you know our quotes will be discussing about aristotle plato horace longinus and like these other critics and philosophers stay blessed and have a nice time don't forget to subscribe our channel the esl academy subscribe share with your friends stay blessed and have a nice time